Right now at four, the monkeypox outbreak causing concern in our community as cases continue to climb. Dr. David Wall, infectious disease expert with UNC Health, joining me right now to address some of your concerns and questions. Dr. Wall, first of all, let's talk about the vaccine. Are there any side effects and is it safe? Seems to be really safe. So that's the kind of data we do have. We don't know as much about how well it works against monkeypox as we haven't used it against it before. It does seem to have good activity against smallpox, which is very closely related to monkeypox. So I think it's safe. That's not the issue. The bigger issue is how do we get the people who need it the vaccine? There's a limited supply. Supplies are increasing. But we've gotten about 10,000 doses here in North Carolina. And we need more because there's more people who could benefit from the vaccine and not be at risk for catching monkeypox. Yeah, we've definitely seen those lines, people trying to get the vaccine. Now, the maker of the vaccine raised concerns this week about the strategy to split doses. So is this a safe way to conserve the supply? Yeah, so people may have heard that given we have some limitations of the supply of the vaccine, there was a 2015 study that showed if you inject it under the skin at a fifth of the dose that we're giving now deeper, you can get a good reaction, a good response to the immune system. But I think a lot of us find that's a little bit more complicated to operationalize. And so I think you're seeing a little bit of a slow walk towards that. And most of us are continuing to give the standard dose right now. We have seen those disparities in who's taking the vaccine. Well, 70% of the cases here in North Carolina are black men, but black North Carolinians have received less than a quarter of the vaccinations given so far. So why do you think we're seeing this disparity and what type of outreach is needed to get more people vaccinated? I suspect that most people of color who are listening to this are not surprised uh, in hearing that there's been disparities in access to the vaccine. There's a long history of that. We saw that with COVID. It's also unacceptable. So we've got to use every mechanism at our disposal to make this acceptable, easy for people who could benefit. Lots of important information there. Thank you so much. Dr. David Wall from UNC Health. Thank you.